What if I told you that scientists have uncovered something remarkable about cats and humans? Through years of research, they've identified six unique qualities that make certain people irresistible to cats. So here's the big question. Do you have these rare traits? Only a select few humans do, and that's exactly what makes them so special. You see, cats are notoriously hard to win over. They don't give their affection away to just anyone. But if you possess these qualities, your connection with a cat isn't just luck. It's something much deeper. So, are you one of the few? In this video, we're going to reveal the six signs that scientists say make you a magnet for felines. Before we dive in, hit that subscribe button and join our community of cat lovers, because chances are you're already closer than you think to being a feline favorite. Number one, get down. They say that 55% of human communication happens non-verbally, and it's even more for cats. Your furry friend is unlikely to understand more than a few words of spoken English, quite possibly just their name and the word treats, which really is all any cat needs. But they more than make up for it with the amount of time they spend focusing on your body language. In 2017, researchers for the Journal of Feline Medicine and Surgery conducted an experiment where they introduced cats to humans who were displaying different postures. The cats hadn't met any of these humans before, so there was no risk of personal bias. Some of the humans were standing, some were sitting, some were crouched down. The study showed that the cats had a marked preference for the people who were sitting or crouching. This makes sense. A standing human is very tall from a cat's perspective and as a result, can be pretty intimidating. Crouching or sitting brings us more to their level, so if you want to attract a cat, the first thing you need to do is make yourself smaller and less intimidating. Number two, put on a happy face. The face is by far the most expressive part of the human body, capable of displaying up to 10,000 distinct expressions. Your kitty knows this as well as you do, and so they pay close attention to your facial features when they're interacting with you. Crouching down will make it that much easier for your cat to see your face. So your next step is making sure that your expression is one that won't scare them away. A study published in the Animals Journal in 2022 looked at how cats respond to different facial expressions. The study showed that the feline paw participants were noticeably more likely to approach humans who were smiling, or at least had a relaxed, friendly expression. Cats have a good associative memory, meaning that their brains are very skilled at making connections between specific emotions and specific concepts. What was most likely happening here is that the cats associated the concept of a sad or angry human facial expression with negative experiences, while the happy faces were associated with receiving treats and pets. As a result, if you want to attract a strange cat, you might want to imitate the strangest cat of all. The Cheshire Cat. Smile. Number 3. Cats don't like direct eye contact, as you'll know if you've ever tried it with one. Unlike humans, who often see sustained eye contact as a sign of trust or connection, our feline friends view it as a challenge. Essentially, when we think our eyes are saying, I love you and want to be friends, our kitties are hearing, Come on if you think you're hard enough. As a result, they'll likely respond by either looking away or possibly by getting aggressive. So how should you look at a cat? And what should you do if you accidentally catch their eye? Well, when first interacting with a strange cat, it's best to avoid eye contact altogether. This can be tricky since many humans will naturally look at the eyes without even thinking about it. But one trick is to focus on the cat's nose instead. If you accidentally find yourself forgetting and looking in their eyes, or if you think the two of you are becoming friends and you want to communicate that, don't panic. Just slowly blink. A 2020 study tested how cats respond to being slowly blinked at. First owners were instructed to slowly blink at their cats and note down their responses. Then researchers did the same with cats that they hadn't interacted with before. Both groups reported that the cats responded positively, showing more affection, being more likely to approach, and frequently responding with a blink of their own. Essentially, 
the feline way of saying, I love you too. Number four, watch your tone. When you talk to a cat, they might not be able to understand what you're saying, but they will likely pay close attention to how you're saying it. A study from Anthrozoos showed that animals, cats included, tend to respond positively to people who speak in calm, gentle tones and negatively towards people who talk loudly or sharply. Cats have very sensitive hearing compared to humans. Their ears are four to five times more sensitive than ours, and this is reflected in their dislike of loud noises. You probably already know that yelling at a cat won't make them come over. That's kind of a no-brainer. But even just the slight raising of the voice, which naturally happens when people get excited, can be enough to scare away some cats. As a result, it's best to make a conscious effort to try and keep your tone low. If you're trying to attract your own cat meanwhile, then you should consider trying baby talk. Yep, it might sound a bit beneath your kitty's natural feline dignity. Although, who are we kidding? This is an animal who regularly has to be rescued after getting tangled up in curtains. But a 2022 study showed that cats do indeed respond better to statements made in baby talk, but only from their own personal humans. When you're talking in baby talk, you likely make your voice higher pitched. Cats find it easier to hear high-pitched sounds, which is probably why they prefer that style of speech. This is also why they're more attracted to kissing sounds. Number 5. Watch their space. So you've succeeded in tempting a cat over. Your evil plan to show them love and affection has so very nearly succeeded, and they are almost in your clutches. You might think that now is the time to start the next phase, petting them. But hold it, not so fast. Reaching out to the cat might seem tempting, but if you mess up at this crucial stage, then you'll likely end up scaring them away and have to start the whole procedure all over again. Instead, listen to the advice of cat behavior expert, Dr. Dennis C. Turner. Dr. Turner has, through years of research, discovered the best way to get a cat to let you pet them. The trick, as it turns out, is to let them think it's their idea. Allow them to initiate pets, and they'll be happy to accept your affections. Start petting straight away without asking for permission, and you'll be given a very short shrift. How do you ask permission? Simple. Just slowly reach out your hand and hover it over the cat's head. They should start sniffing it. If you pass the smell test, they'll then head butt your hand, signaling that petting may commence. If they decide against it, however, then there's no point chasing after them. Try again later, when they might be in a better mood. Number 6. Consistency is key. So, you've successfully lured in your cat and welcomed them into your life. You're high and dry with an adorable kitty to call your own. But how do you keep them happy once you've got them in your home? Easy. Create a routine. A 2017 study looked at how cats respond to different owners and found that the happiest cats were the ones in environments where they had clear routines. Owners who consistently fed, played with and interacted with their fur babies at the same times every day. Research from the University of Lincoln, meanwhile, showed that sudden changes in routine cause significant anxiety in cats. As it turns out, our furry friends don't enjoy a ton of excitement and unpredictability in their lives. For them, a boring life is the best life. One routine that your kitty may particularly enjoy is your bedtime routine. Cats often enjoy sleeping alongside their humans, even though sleeping all through the night isn't really natural to them. Check out this video to find out why that is, and what it means when your kitty sleeps in different positions on your bed.